We go across to our guests as well, Colonel Dinis Vidas and Mr. Arasan Singh. Good afternoon to you, gentlemen. Uh, Colonel Dini, what is your assessment so far? Punjab being a border state, a very sensitive situation, and such kind of sophisticated weaponry making its way when it comes to such targeted attacks at police stations, sir. Well, see, first of all, uh, you know, as we all know that uh, Pakistan ISI is systematically targeting uh, many states, and uh, Punjab being one of the high, uh, you know, high priority states because of its past uh, uh, issues with the Khalistani movement, and also because of the, uh, you know, close proximity towards uh, with Pakistan. So we know that. But what uh, what this repeated uh, attacks are showing is that this is actually a testing of waters. Uh, you know, it is kind of making their presence felt. Like the fact that we are today discussing this uh, means that uh, the people who are doing this want to know that uh, want others to know that they are there. There they can activate uh, as and when required. We all know that to fire an RPG, it's not an easy thing. It's just not a, you know any kind of a, a, a grenade being done. It it requires some kind of at least uh, you know uh, uh, use, knowledge of how to use it. So therefore, this particular act again, once again, like what happened in Mohali, is to make the presence felt that in Punjab there is something happening, and also to know the reaction of the security forces, to know the reaction of the response from the people of Punjab. So this, I think, is you know they are just making their ground uh, ready, uh, and you know in the coming days we will find the intensity of these attacks going up, the magnitude of the casualties, and you know those kind of things they will be targeting. So it's I think it's a very serious thing. And especially happening so close to the border, and also we must not forget uh, the kind of thing which happened when our prime minister also was visiting in in, in Punjab and the kind of uh, issues which were there. So right, all sir. in all, all I can say is it's a very serious thing, which I'm sure people uh, who whosoever is responsible would be taking taking a very close look at what has happened uh, yesterday night. Right, but Mr. Arasan Singh, sir, as Colonel Dini is pointing out, if there would be more such attacks or possible such uh, as far as you know making their presence felt, that raises even more concerns as far as uh, security breach and intelligence failure is also concerned, sir. You know, the Kashmir arc uh, has been widening since very, very long time. And it did encompass uh, uh, Punjab very, very long ago. Remember the attack on Pathankur air, 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 air Base. And may I reiterate that Pathankur is not in Kashmir, it, was in, it is in Punjab. Take your mind back to Dinanagar attack on Dinanagar police station. So the arc has been widening and not only that, how have we all missed out that Kashmiris as well as, you know, Kashmiri jihadis as well as Khalistanis were both, I mean, they are, they, they are in some of the private, you know, colleges and universities of Punjab, you know, together to the extent that some Kashmiri terrorists have been uh, going off and on, leaving the campus, carrying out terrorist attacks and falling back into uh, into the ca uh, campus. Hmm. Now, also, let's not forget forget one fact that the ISI, uh, that is the Pakistan Military Intelligence Establishment, is adept at manipulating political parties. It has done it with great amount of you know dexterity in within Pakistan. You saw how you know it first built up. Nawaz Sharif and then abandoned him and then Imran Khan and etc. etc. Hmm. So let nobody present a case to me that they are not manipulating political parties here in India. Hmm. Earlier, a lot of political parties all across the country, right in Bihar, UP, everywhere, they are being manipulated. Sir, we've just lost your connection, Mr. Arasan Singh, sir. But Colonel Dini, if you want to complete that point with what uh, Mr. Arasan Singh seems to be saying right now, because uh, such availability of sophisticated weaponry, sir, and the access there, because the border areas are notorious just not for human infiltration or terror infiltration, sir, but when it comes to heightened drone activity as well, that is being reported uh, smuggling, even when it comes to narcotics and drug terror is also something that has been pointed out right here, sir. Absolutely, ma'am. See, uh, one thing we must understand that, you know, Punjab today, uh, like what Colonel Arasan Singh also, sir, also was trying to, you know, mention, mm. that it's a perfect uh, mixture of all elements which is uh, which is necessary to, uh, you know, to make the ground fertile for terrorist activities or maybe, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, why do I say so? Is because you see that there is a, a huge nexus of multi-criminality which is happening in Punjab right now. Whether it is the drugs which is there, whether it is the guns, which is the gangsters which are there, you know, you see that uh, criminal activities. Uh, and also 
some sort of political, uh, you know, inst I won't call it instability, but there is definitely a political, uh, you know, uh, it's not a classical uh, uh, st stable kind of a thing. There are a lot of things, uh, the, the party which is there, it is still in its, in its early uh, days. And so there are issues so. there, which is there. So I think uh, people are looking for such so possible yet to get a grasp on the security situation uh, because there have been several such incidents in fact daylight murders that have been taking place of people who have been actually provided police uh, protection and security we also have a live report uh, ravinder aap meri awaaz sun pa rahe haan ji ma'am haan ji हाँ जी तो अभी के सिचुएशन के बारे में बताया डीजीपी का हमने रिएक्शन सुना उसके बाद बताइए कि वहां पे क्या हो रहा है कितनी टीमें जहां पहुंची है वहां पर डीजीपी गौरव यादव घटना स्थान पर पहुंचे थे और उन्होंने बोला है कि जो मोहाली अटैक हुआ था ना आरपीजी का अटैक जो मोहाली हुआ था उसके वो वही सिमिलरिटी यही है जहां पर दिख रही है कि वही सिमिलरिटी वही ऐसा वैसा ही अटैक जो यहाँ पर तरन में हुआ है तो जो आरपीजी अटैक मोहाली में हुआ था उसकी तारें जो जुड़ती थी वो तरतर में जुड़ती थी गैंगस्टर लंडा हरीके का नाम सामने आता था रिंदा जो गैंगस्टर बे, तो पाकिस्तानी बेस्ड टेररिस्ट रिंदा का नाम जो उसका नाम सामने आया था और एक चरत सिंह था जो मुंबई से उसको गिरफ्तार किया गया था तो उसी की तारे जो जैसी तारे वहां पर जुड़ती थी मोहाली की तारे तरतार से जुड़ती थी वैसा ही अटैक अब तरजस्तान में हुआ है और डीजीपी ने बताया है कि कुछ जांच उन्होंने की है वो डिस्क्लोज नहीं कर सकते कर सकते ड्यू टू सम सिक्योरिटी रीजन वो डिस्क्लोज नहीं कर सकते पर उन्होंने क्ल्यू इकट्ठे किए हैं सबूत जुटा लिए हैं और जल्द ही वो जो एक प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करके जारी करेंगे कि जे ए, किसने अटैक किया कैसे अटैक हुआ कौन थे वो लोग और जो जे आर है जो पंजाब में पहुंचे कैसे सबसे बड़ी बात यही है कि आर पी जो है ये पंजाब में आ कहां से रहे हैं ड्रोन के जरिए बॉर्डर एरिया है तरन तारण और साथ ही में थोड़ी दूर के बॉर्डर पड़ता है भारत पाकिस्तान का बॉर्डर पड़ता है तो वहां से आम ही हो गया अभी अब आम हो गया कि जो हथियार है ड्रोन के जरिए पंजाब भेजे जा रहे हैं और पंजाब से वहां वक्त वक्त राज्यों में भी जो है जे हथियार और जे हेरोइन जहां पहुंच रही है तो इसलिए अभी पंजाब से कुछ उसमें कुछ तो सख्ती दिखा रही है पर जे आम ही हो गया है कहीं गोलियां मार दी गैंगस्टरों ने किसी के और इससे पहले ही तरन तारण में पहले भी एक कपड़ा व्यापारी है उसकी गोलियां मारकर हत्या कर दी की थी एक्सटॉर्शन की मांग की थी इससे पहले बीते दो तीन दिन की बात करें तो एक पुलिस मुलाजम है उसकी भी गोलियां मारकर हत्या कर दी कर दी गई थी क्योंकि जिस व्यापारी से एक्सटॉर्शन मांगी गई थी उसकी सुरक्षा कर्मी था वो पुलिस मुलाजम उसको भी मार दिया गया था तो अभी जो गौरव जाद कह रहे हैं कि वो जांच कर रहे हैं जांच के बाद ए, काफी कुछ जो सामने आ रहा है तो सबसे बड़ी बात यही है कि सिमिलैरिटी जो आर पी जी अटैक हुआ था मोहाली में वैसी वैसा ही अटैक जो अभी तरन तारण में हुआ है जी तो इन्वेस्टिगेशन अभी शुरू हो चुकी है और धीरे धीरे करके मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन जो सामने आ रही है वो सीधे तौर पर टेरर अटैक की तरफ सीधे तौर पर इशारा कर रही है यहाँ पर रविंद्र आप बने रही है